Hello beautiful spirits, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. This is Irish Donna Tarot. I'm glad that you've all stopped by and I'm grateful for your views, likes, subscribes, and all of the support that I've had. It's been lovely. This is a Taurus love reading, new or a new beginning in love. We have Treasure Isle, Taurus. For those of you who are interested in astrology, there is a link to the astrological introduction for the next two years of the eclipses on the Taurus-Scorpio axis. It will affect everyone. Fork in the road. Look at this sexy, exciting, beautiful fork in the road. What decisions are going to be laid in front of you, Taurus? I like that energy. I don't know why I'm so excited. I don't know. I just, I'm really looking forward to this new eclipse season. All right. Big changes. Good ones. All right. Yang energy. So you have a lot of masculine energy coming in here, Taurus. All right. So let's look and see what the overall energy is in love for my Taurus friends. And uh, cross watchers. Okay. So let's see here. We have, oh, five of swords. Ouch. Okay, so somebody's playing some head games here. There's been some sort of scuffle, argument, disagreement. Something's got you in your head, Taurus. It's Aquarius energy. We have the Queen of Cups energy. This is somebody, there is somebody here that you love a great deal, and there is a new beginning. So nice, Aquarius energy. So two Aquarius cards here. Four of Wands, Taurus, nice energy. That is Aries energy. You may be um, having some interactions with uh, an Aries. That is the Four of Wands. It's a classic indicator of marriage. Bridesmaids dancing with the tambourine. There's the wedding tent. But it is all about stability in relationship. It's about building foundations, making commitments, buying homes, renting homes, but establishing a foundation great energy we oh my god taurus you have the lovers card smoking hot lovers card i don't know who you this is gemini energy it's about making a choice also but there is smoke and hot passion here and you and the person that you're involved with are very different from one another. It could be philosophically, it could be culturally, it could be your ethnicity or the country or of origin, but you watch each other on the internet. So I do feel as though some of you are online dating. For those of you who are not online dating, but already in a dating situation and a relationship that's advancing, you may be spying on someone or doing your homework. You might have a truth finder button on that computer, which you're validating that the person you know or you're interested in is telling you the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. We have someone coming in very fast, Taurus, to talk to you. That is Gemini Energy. They are wearing red, red bottom shoes, and we see a motorcycle, so they have something important that they want to share with you. We have the energy, Pisces energy here. Somebody, want, some suitor may be a little bit younger than you coming towards you. This is somebody that you may not take very seriously. So you have some good options here. This is somebody that you say, you know, they're really cute, but when pigs fly, if you see a little pig here, um, that you would accept that particular person. So you have a few people coming towards your Taurus. Now we have Sagittarius energy. Well, there's somebody coming back to rekindle a relationship, and we could kind of see that here. So there's a new beginning, if you want it, with one person, Sagittarius, Aquarius energy. There's a new opportunity here with a Gemini or an Aries. We see, oh, the Ten of Coins. Oh, Taurus, that's one of my favorite cards. It's Virgo energy. It's Legacy Marriage. Look at two Legacy Marriage cards, a Soulmate energy, a new beginning. This is an exceptional reading. The Temperance card is all about being protected, leveling out the relationship, finding the peaceful and happy ground. Temperance is my number one card of reconciliation. So what do we have? We have the World card. This is the most successful card in the deck. It's a culmination of a great deal of success. It's like getting, it's like winning an Academy Award and then saying, well, we're just going to go to a new cycle called making a new movie that might also win an Academy Award. But other than that, 
hey, no mind, it's just the beginning of a new cycle. So I always think that the world card is highly underrated um, oftentimes when we look at tarot readings. But anyway, that's my opinion, and I love everybody. We have a lot of talent out there. Okay, four of swords. So Taurus, you are mending your heart. There is something that, you know, we have the four of swords, the five of swords, and this reconciliation card, and somebody coming in, it looks probably like they're going to apologize. <laughs> So let's go ahead and clarify this energy for you, Taurus. Let's see what's going on. Why do we have the Five of Swords here? What happened in that energy? Somebody's trying to come in more enlightened than they were at, you know, in a place that they were at. Okay, so for some of you, this is soulmate energy. This is the only card in all of my decks that is truly twin flame energy and as you know if you're a twin flame follower we have 11 11 and 11 11 this is number 22 in the naked heart tarot so sometimes twin flames take a long time to come into alignment and into union so you may have a twin flame chasing you around here taurus okay we also have the energy of the Queen of Cups. You feel a little overwhelmed in your emotions right now. Well, you know, we're on the verge of an eclipse. Within 24 hours, we have an eclipse starting. And so, Taurus, it looks as though the energy is that you are going to let go of a burden, but right now it feels very heavy. Your emotions feel very heavy to you. All right. What is a new beginning here with the Fool card for our Taurus friends? What does that signify? What could Taurus learn about a new beginning and taping, taking a leap of faith? Wow. Two of Cups. It's a bride and groom saying their vows. Two hearts beating as one. Soulmate energy. Taurus. This is fantastic reading. All right. So let's see. Why is the Four of Wands here for you, Taurus? What is this Four of Wands doing here? Six of Swords. So, uh, you know, the Four of Wands can be buying a home. So it looks like for many of you, you're making a solid commitment to move in with somebody or to move to a different location if you are living with somebody. But you have a lot more love interest hovering around your energy right now than just one person. This is, I see, you know, somebody trying to come back in, but you have new people who are vying for your attention. Taurus, Taurus, nice. Okay, why is the Six of Swords here? The Strength card, Leo, energy, having fire in your belly. You have the courage and the strength. Somebody's coming in with, uh, I believe, what looks like a request to marry or move in or take the steps towards a deep level of commitment, including a legacy marriage. Two self-made people creating a beautiful home, a wonderful family life. This energy is, has a lot of loyalty, a lot of love, children. You know, it's extended family, but it's placing a very strong value on legacy, you know, li living in abundance. All right, what do we have here? Oh my gosh, okay. So what we see here with the lover's card is there is someone who is a red hot smoking lover that may have some player energy that they're bringing in. Sagittarius energy again. Okay, let's see what we have. Why is that card here? Ah, somebody that you really love who's a red hot lover. So we have Sagittarius energy. So this person may not be interested in marriage it looks like they're more interested in coming and going and the passion of the moment and you are manifesting somebody else and who would that be oh my god the four of wands again what taurus you are powerful this eclipse energy just you're rocking it okay so it looks like you are very dedicated you are having an intense fork in the road big decisions to make here taurus very big decisions this is a beautiful reading tell us more about the hierophant reversed please okay moving of swords so we have the movement of swords twice knight of swords gemini energy 
So what is this that you need to know? What is going to be talked about? Oh, the Justice card. Okay. So what I'm seeing here is for those of you who may be in a situation where it looks like somebody's getting a divorce and it looks like they're not free yet. So they're coming in with player energy, but look at that. Uh, the Justice card is a paperwork. It's a paperwork for a marriage license. It's a paperwork for a divorce. So for some of you, somebody may be coming in to tell you that though they aren't divorced yet, they have a lot of passion for you and they would like to make a commitment. So you have people vying for your attention. People are competing, competing, competing for you. Taurus, Taurus, what is this Knight of Swords energy? Let's see again if we can get more detail. Movement of Cups, Knight of Cups, Romantic Energy. Now the Knights always, you have the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. Romantic, um, the Knights are always people who are on a mission and they're not here forever. But we, when we get the Knight of Pentacles, that becomes the King of Pentacles. So let's see, why do we have this romantic Knight of Cups. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune, the timing's right. You have all kinds of love going on. You are a treasure. I'm beginning to think we're going to have to call you a national treasure. Maybe you are the treasure island. <laughs> and everybody's coming in with all this masculine, crazy, yang, passionate energy, Taurus. Uh, you know, if you're the masculine, then that's probably your energy. Um, but we'll see what we have here. Everybody has yang energy, females too. But you, people are pursuing you in a very ardent manner. Well, we have Mars and Scorpio right now, right? Okay. So we have the Page of Cups. Why do we have the Page of Cups? The Three of Cups. Bridesmaids dancing at the wedding. We get an Ace of Coins. We're going to have an engagement or the potential for one. The Seven of Wands energy. Well, so you really like this person. You feel that this this page of cups could be somebody who's younger, who's a suitor, but it can also be a child. If if you have a child or your lover has a child, the seven of wands, <laughs> you're going to hold back from this person. I think you're very reticent to get involved with somebody with a significant age difference. Let's see what we have here. But oh, somebody wants your attention, Taurus. That's a Cancerian uh, card of Honey, I'm Home. The Chariot, they're willing to fight for you in this relationship. They want to move forward very rapidly. So, oh, you have a lot of love interest. Okay, Judgment card, releasing somebody. Okay, so I'm going to interpret this two ways because it's a general reading. So it can, the Judgment card is karmic release of old debts. And so when we reconcile, we do so um, spiritually by releasing the wounds of the past and allowing somebody to start fresh with us again. So the judgment card is Scorpio energy. It's death and rebirth. And with that temperance card, I feel as though you're going to at least hear someone out about why they think they deserve or why they hope that you will give them a second chance. It may be somebody that you work with. That's Capricorn energy. Why is this uh, card here of uh, judgment, please? Ah, the card of healing. We have Aquarius energy. We have the star card, a card of spiritual beauty from the inside, outer glow. It really speaks to the fact that you've done the work, that you have ascended, that you might be in alignment with the ability to come into union. For those of you who do have a twin flame or a soulmate, let's see what else we have. We have a card that just went, card went flying, okay. So the moon card says you don't know if you feel safe, even though you want to work on this. We have Pisces energy here, so you're not sure. You're just not sure. Sorry about that. Um, so you're not sure here. You feel uh, insecure. You don't know what choice you're going to make yet, but you have released the burdens from whatever happened in that relationship. 
you have forgiven, you haven't forgotten, uh, you still care very deeply, you feel very vulnerable with that person, but this fork in the road, you're going to have more than one good option here, Taurus, and that's what we're seeing. So let's see what the energy is for the Ten of Pentacles. We have, that's a legacy marriage. We have the Heart of Swords, which is the Queen of Swords. And we have the King of Swords. Oh my goodness. Do we have a couple attorneys of attorneys here? Or a surgeon and an attorney? Or two people who are just really intellectual and really bent on knowing the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I get that you may have been in separation for a while, but you, both of you are really thinking about this, really looking at it as an opportunity, Virgo energy. It's the energy of really searching for answers. Why do we have the King and Queen of Swords? It is a divine couple. Ah, you're invested. Seven of Coins. You want to get to the Ten of Coins, and you're wondering how to do it. Why is the Hermit card here for you? Three of Wands. Okay, it looks like this is a person you're going to choose here. It could be somebody who is a Virgo. You've got two sets of Virgo energy. We have Taurus energy. Taurus, there you are in your reading. And we have this King and Queen of Swords, two very intellectually uh, uh, accomplished people. The Queen of Swords, I like to call her Judge Judy, Judge, Jury, and Executioner, except she doesn't execute anybody. So the World card, okay, so you are entering a very successful new cycle, and the Tower card comes. Here's what I think is happening. The Page of Swords, okay. So it looks like somebody's coming back in to uh, light your fire again. You are at a crossroads because you've met someone else that looks as though they could give you a lot of what this person may not have been able to give you. So let's look and see what the Four of Swords this healing is about. What is this healing about? The Seven of Cups, somebody who kept their options open. Ah, somebody who was a player. We've had this player card twice here because we have it up here. Again, Justice card, interesting energy, but player energy. So there's someone here who you don't think is marriage material at all. You think that they're a player. You feel as though you're not too interested in that. I get that they've hurt you once. So you may not take this person back. For, for many of you, this player energy is going to be assigned to the twin flame. So for those of you, you know, it can go either way depending on the person. It's a general reading. Take what's yours, like a buffet table, eight of swords. Yeah, you look like you are not. I feel as though what's happening here is that for many of you, this person coming back was a player, and they're the one that hurts you. And they could be your twin flame, but you could have a soulmate and a twin flame. Because the energy that I'm getting here is that one relationship works out beautifully. It's likely to advance into marriage but you have options, but you feel like this is your person. Three of Wands, you feel like this is your one. You know, King of Swords, Queen of Swords, somebody that's super honest. So that's the energy, that I'm, the way I'm pulling it here. But you know what? Everybody chooses for themselves. The Death card. Okay, so you're definitely sending somebody packing. You're definitely not on board with the idea of being hurt again. Your trust was shattered. And you are just going to jettison that person. And you just don't feel like you can trust them. But you have this beautiful option. Oh my God, you have a beautiful reading. This is an exquisite reading. It's very dynamic. Lots of hot, hot, hot sensuality, sexuality. A lot of commitment. A lot of joy, happiness, and loyalty with this person. So... Taurus, it looks like another earth sign may be the, the top choice, may be your treasure island. Thank you for joining me. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Please take care. Bye-bye, Taurus.